Introduction to Conic Sections. In this video, we're going to cover how to generate conic sections. What are they and why they are called conic sections? Most likely around us, you have recognized some of the conic sections. And these are the circle, ellipse, parabola, and hyperbola. In simple terms, a conic section is formed when a plane intersects a cone. So how do we generate a cone? So let's say we have this vertical line and a slanting line. The surface of the cone can be generated when this slanting line rotates about a fixed point. Let's say this is our fixed point, and then the rotation would be something like this. Therefore, we can now generate our double right circular cone. A double right circular cone consists of two cones joined at a common point. This point is called the vertex, and this vertical line is called the axis. Also, this axis forms a right angle with the base of the cone. So how do we generate conic sections? Let's say we have this double right circular cone, and then we have our plane. If the plane will intersect our cone in such a way that the position of the plane is perpendicular to the axis of the cone, or the plane is parallel to the base of our cone, then we can generate a circle. If you look at this image right above, this would be the conic section generated, and that is a circle. Now let us tilt the plane at a certain angle. The intersection formed would be an ellipse. If we continue tilting the plane, let's say this case would be the plane is parallel to the side of the cone. Therefore, we can now generate a parabola. So as you can see, it is quite interesting that we started with a circle wherein the position of the plane is parallel to the base or perpendicular to our axis. And then if we keep on tilting, we would somehow get an ellipse that is more and more skewed ellipse. And then when we reach the point that the position of the angle of the um, plane is parallel to the side of the cone, then we can now have a parabola. Now, what if the position of the cone is that um, both of the cones of the double right circular cone would be intersected? So we can now form a hyperbola. So that is a general sense of how we generate conic sections.